I thought it'd be really interesting to have a music video where you saw the song take shape and develop in front of your eyes. And I thought an interesting way to do that would be through graffiti and stencil art. So I literally Googled a graffiti artist in Nashville and Troy popped up. Scrolling through his page, I just fell in love with his art immediately. How did I meet Brandon? <laughs> he just called me out the blue and uh, asked me if I would be interested in uh, being a part of your video and this cool project that you had going on. You know, I was in. I briefly met with Troy about a day before the shoot. We started discussing what the final artwork would look like. Obviously, there was gonna be the stencils, but what could we build on top of those lyrics. That was just me and you vibing, man. You know what I'm saying? Just talking about, hey, where are you trying to go with this? What are you, what are you looking for? Because I think that's important, man. As much as you want to say, hey, Troy, I, I don't want to tell you how to do your thing. You're giving yourself to it as well, so I want to make sure you get everything you you want out of it as well as, as myself. I briefly mentioned why I liked the idea of war being an acronym for We Are Roses. We played around with some stuff and he came up with the idea to do the transparent paint. The transparent's probably the last that I kind of added in there and I thought that it would be cool because you can actually see through it. It's not opaque and it's not covering it so you can see the the lyrics behind it. You watch me paint all the lyrics back there, but then you come back and you carve out the W-A-R, we are roses, but to be able to see that through on the finale of the whole piece, I think just makes it a little more special. I wanted the room to feel like this blank canvas, so when Troy got to work and started bringing in color, it really created this aesthetic that allowed the colors to pop when they were put on the canvas. It was really cool to watch Troy work in this way too, because with each lyric and each color, the canvas started to fill up more and more and more. And as he started to go over the lyrics and bring in new colors, it just kept coming to life and became what you see behind it. I really love watching the two worlds collide of graffiti art and acoustic music. People have these preconceived notions about what they think. You see graffiti and it's gotta be with hip hop. And then we got this song that's not hardcore, but it's got a nice flow to it. And as you watch the video and just see how it just kinda, the strokes, you know what I'm saying? When you're working on the angles of the ladders or you're just stretching out, spraying the stencil, I think it all just kind of works together. Watching him with his strokes and how it just complements the song and kind of flows with the melodies at times, or when he strikes with the cannon, it pops with the song. It's just beautiful moments like that that really take the music video to another level for me. This is the first video that I released and shot that I'm fully behind the scenes. I do not appear in the video at all. It's just Troy and the art, which I think speaks volume to the song, but more importantly, Troy's art is, I didn't feel the need to be in it personally. I really loved watching him create the piece and see the final artwork revealed, more so than being in it myself, playing along to the song, just your typical video that you see everywhere else. When we shot this, really putting it together. The final piece was exactly how I envisioned this to be, to listen to the song as I was doing when I was painting it, and then to see the video and just see how different sections of it kind of play off of each other, and, and recognizing that in the cutting and the editing, it, it, it's cool to watch it, man. I look at a lot of different details when I'm watching, so I'm listening to the music, I'm listening to the lyrics, I'm watching what's going on as I'm doing it, and I was just kind of in my zone then, so now to step back and look at it from a different dimension and, and really see, you know, what was going on and to watch this whole thing unfold. It, it's kind of nice, man. It's always cool. It was really mind-blowing to watch Troy work. Getting to see a true artist do his thing live in front of you was a great experience. And there are these little details in the art, like the glares on top of some of the letters, or even this drip that has a shadow in itself. Just the fact that Troy saw that and thought to do it was really mind bending. You know, you're watching him create this piece and you go, wow, this is amazing, and you think he's done, but then he just keeps adding these little tidbits, these little intricacies, and it just takes the art to a whole new level. But then you think, he's doing this to my music and I get to keep this at the end of it. It's, it's just a moment that's really special to me. You know, when you do a graffiti piece and there's, there's several layers to it, and Sometimes I explain to people, it's gotta get ugly before it's 
gets beautiful. But it's not until when you grab that can of black or whatever your color is and you start really defining what you've been working on and it just slowly starts coming to life. I, I could see the reactions, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, I get it now. And then when I add the little highlights, the little blings, you know what I'm saying? Top of the R up there and uh, over the top of the A. It's just like that little icing on the cake that people love. That's always a cool moment and to see people's reaction because now they get it. This artwork honestly means a lot to me. It was really cool to see a artist that I really respect and truly love interpret my music and put their own spin on my song. I get to hang this proudly in my studio and every day when I look at it, I get to relive that experience which is different because walking away from this music video, I have a tangible thing that I get to enjoy and appreciate, which isn't standard. Usually you rent out a warehouse, play a song, and that's it. You walk away with a video. But this, I have something that I can admire and appreciate no matter what. Another round. <laughs>